So, rock shoot. Um, line things up. We got up in the dark. You know, I think it was 5.30. We were leaving the trailhead and the uh, sun started coming up and, and uh, we were hitting some features. It was hitting some massive drops that I'd never done before. Um, it's really cool. I think we did like seven or eight features or, or at least hit seven or eight different things. Uh, went back down, <laughs> had a meeting with my electrician for some jobs that were coming up. And, uh, and then light was in rock shoot. I think it was right around two o'clock. You know, we did some, some warm up features and, and headed back over to rock shoot. Uh, the run out was pretty heavy on that one. It was definitely a no fall zone. Um, the, the drop itself, I'd done a couple things that season that had been bigger than that. It was definitely pretty sizable, but uh, yeah, it was more the, the mandatory turn, left-hand turn with the downhill slope to it um, that was pretty, pretty crucial. There was an apron at the bottom that flattened out, so I, I had a pretty good feeling I, I would be able to crank it around, and uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking up there, just looking off that ramp. You know, the horizon just drops out, falls out completely, feels like you're going to the moon. Super slow approach, it's just even more nerve wracking. That ramp was about 36 and a half inches wide, and the ski stands is 36 inches. So you're just looking at the right ski, you know, you're 60 feet off the ground, with that right ski, and you just creep in, pop, 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 and uh, went pretty well. Landed, you know, came out of the snow cloud and, and uh, was heavy on the left side, right where I wanted to be, and, and was able to hit the gas and whip the, the back end around to, to line up with the cliffs. And uh, yeah, straight shot from there. So it was great, good feeling. Um, it was pretty special. So it was, it was a pretty wild time.